It's going on 645. We have got to get a move on it. it. Didn't get quite as cold as they told us. 28 was the low here at the house. Good morning, Ruby. Over here at Banks Road and 401, it looks like they're cutting the road to go uh, across here. Johnny made the astute observation this morning that uh, now we're going to have to start worrying about the sun in our eyes on the way in. It's been a nice reprieve over the winter. Uh, and it'll be even worse come Monday next week because the time's changing this weekend. I'll see you this afternoon, buddy. Okay, bye. Love ya. Love you too. Hustle, hustle. Yeah. 7.31. I think he's okay to get in the door back over here at South Park and it's a uh, breezy chilly 33 degrees out there this morning but the sun is glorious today. Don and I'll be headed uh, after breakfast to get the tires put on uh, Ruby. That's our uh, major extra um, business we need to attend to today. Otherwise it should be a routine day. No taekwondo tonight. Hopefully not a lot of homework and uh, Maybe we'll catch a movie later or something. But I am enjoying the sun. Coming back out to the garage refrigerator for breakfast supplies. I didn't put Ruby inside since we'll be leaving shortly. Hi, are my babies asleep in here? Well, they're Slate and Tux. So, um... Uh, we have a track day coming up and we have to for sure replace the rear tires because they've both been plugged a and they're pretty war um, but the front tires I'm struggling with I'm gonna, if we're going to replace these or not so I have a um, tire gauge and um, basically uh, you can see here this is the uh, 2 30 seconds or 3 30 seconds wear bars and you can see the front tires are actually in pretty good shape so on the outside outside here it's just a little over 430 seconds yeah I can't get it to focus when you come in that okay, quick so just tell us verbally. The right here towards the middle is just just a tad over five here it's tad over six and here it's a tad almost five so uh, they're you know the front tires are wearing very very well and I guess actually I'm going to talk to the guy when I get up the discount tire because um, for lack of a better way to say it, the front tires are like half worn. Uh, now, uh, the general uh, wisdom of um, this is that you uh, always uh, use the same brand of tires or type of tires. You know, it's, it's this thing. <clears throat> but I, I don't really, um, I, I think that's a... And we were switching brands today. That was we the plan. Switching, we are going to Pirelli's from these Continentals. I'm not particularly thrilled with the wear characteristics on the Continentals. So they seem to, this set, uh, although the front this time is doing much better, um, these, this set has about 22,000 miles on the rear. And the rear is down to the, uh, basically right at the wear bar. The wear bar, so, yeah. Uh, I would, you know, the rear tires plus the plug, but also the wear bar. The plug, yeah, but it's it, harder to see the rear wheel because yeah. obviously we can't. Really close, right here. You can see the wear bar, and you can see the tire is basically all but at the wear bar. Oh yeah, I can clearly see that. I'll try to take a picture, just in case it's not showing up in the video. Yeah. So the the this side is about the same. The outside is. Um, the outside is just under about three and a half. This is just uh, almost six, 30 seconds. This is just over about six and a half, 30 seconds. And this is uh, five. So this one's still also in pretty good shape. It's a little bit more worn on the outside, just to scooch more. Uh, we're going to take it in for the four-year service which is going to be done at two years because um, that's how many miles we've put on how many miles on it and uh, they'll we'll do another front end alignment but the front end alignment's not what I'd call bad it's maybe it's not perfect but it's it's certainly reasonable because the tire wear is very um, 
consistent between the two front tires. And I would also say that, um, you know, it depends on the, what is it, the right turns or the left turns. Uh, you know, this it's a little bit more wear and tear on the, I guess on the right turn. So that tire over there should actually be worn more. Be worn more. So but I, it's not. Yeah, so that, again, kind of indicates that maybe, since this is the left side tire, that maybe the front end alignment is just, just a little bit out. So mileage is at 44991 Don's here um, holding my hand. Getting uh, some of Johnny's teeth pulled a few years ago was easier. Yeah, this is... <laughs> she, oh. and Ruby's a family member. That's just how it is. Yeah, she's um, she's very worried. But the Ben, the guy who took all our information and, and did the check-in, um, he reassured us that they do Teslas. And uh, he's going to drive it in himself and uh, put it in jack mode stuff like that so they're gonna use regular jacks um, they've got something so anyway we I'm gonna be watching over Ruby so that I can go home today <laughs> instead of to the hospital <laughs> Well, you just or don't the want morgue. To, I don't know you, which. Well, <laughs> one or the I other. think your only fear would be that um, you would be getting the look, and uh, oh, I might be a little verbal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the discount tire guy, Ben. He's a really nice guy. He's fixing to pull Ruby into the bay. I think this is his first time driving, for sure, a Model X. I gave him the rundown. Slight snafu, he had to come ask what the pin code was. I forget about it. I just type it in so natural that, you know, I didn't even think. No pressure or nothing. Right, Donnie? Me filming him, no pressure or nothing, right? <laughs> Ruby's so pretty. She stayed pretty clean, but you know that water up there on Wagstaff is, uh... They need to fix the ditch over there by the construction. <clears throat> I'm sure, um... Johnny will appreciate me helping the animals and bringing him home a piece of candy like a Milky Way. Chrome caps off. They're, I guess they're plastic, right? Yep. Just plastic. I mean, I knew they were caps, but I, you know, I've never had them off. You can get them off in the socket once. Okay. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> once. Yeah, once. There's a lot of glare here, but I definitely like that there's this little bar counter area where you can sit and watch your car being worked on. Different kinds of sensors, you know, more than likely, at least with the Tesla, I want to say it's kind of like yeah. one of these two. Yeah. But if you notice, there's a little bit of difference between them. One's kind of what we call like a fixed stem, all right. and the other one, we can replace the stem as well. So all your parts and pieces that connect to the sensor, like this one, it's a hex nut, it may come with a washer, it has a new valve core, rubber grommet, and at least with the fixed stem one, we always replace the parts and pieces to it. We don't charge for it, it just huh. helps create a better seal for it. Sure. Just because... Looks like there's an O-ring or something here. Mm -hmm. So with this one, I can get it unlocked. So this one has like a little base piece. It has another rubber grommet in there, another hex nut. But like I said, this stem is, you know, non-fixed to the sensor. So sure. if the stem ever like cracks, for example, we can replace the stem. Okay. Um, but they always come with fresh parts, you know, a brand new valve cap, a core in there, everything. So um, I'll see if I can find like an older one and yeah. I can show you kind of the difference just because with those parts and pieces it sees, you know, the dirt, the grime, the hot, the cold, the wet. Sure. And especially up north with the salt. Yeah. Obviously they corrode over time, get a little dirty, but we always put these parts out, replace them for your safety, create Wait, a better cool. seal.
So, um, I guess this discount tire is out of gray valve stem caps, new ones, and they did not save our old ones. So, Don went around and found two of the old ones on the floor. So, we now have two black caps and two gray caps. So, just be careful if you're, you know, um, attached to the gray caps on your car. Most might be black and you should probably take them off before you hand the car over. As you would expect, the uh, tire pressure sensors are resetting. And we've only driven like not even a half mile yet. Yeah, so. they, they started off all red and then a couple of them went white and then finally they're all white. But we still have the little yellow warning and the tire pressure very low. The, yeah. Yeah. But uh, obviously they're not low. They're all over 40 psi. Right. Don ended up um, rebooting both the driver screen and the center console to get rid of the very low tire pressure message. Obviously, all the TPMS were reading uh, pressures above 40 and we're in good uh, good condition. Yeah, uh, so I can't tell, but uh, certainly I would say at this point these uh, Pirellis are no, are not noisy. Uh, the, the sound difference doesn't seem to be anything that I with my ears can detect. So I'm glad to say they're not noisier, uh, which is good. And uh, as far as, you know, pull into the right or left or anything, it, it's silky smooth. Uh, no vibration uh, and I would say it feels a little tighter you know uh, I don't want to say stiffer but maybe it's stiffer but then the air pressure is up at 46 pounds now uh, the tires have warmed up uh, uh, so I, I'm thinking the tires themselves are good Don and I have swapped places so uh I can test out and see what I think about the tires while Don is still uh, in the car with me. So there's a sheets on each of the main uh, roads into and out of Fuquay, uh, basically to the north and to the uh, west. Uh, there's no sheets to the south, however. Uh, but the sheets is the most likely place, I believe, to get a DC fast charger. Uh, Mary and I were up at a sheets in uh, Apex Carry area and they, were, they had like an EVGO uh, DC fast charger and uh, so I'm wondering uh, or I suspect that the sheets here in Fuquay one of those will be the first one to get a DC fast charger but now the question is when you know this is 2019 I certainly don't see it happening this year probably not next year but I guess before 2022 in other words probably sometime in 2021 i would expect us to get a dc fast charger here in fuquay arena now it won't be a supercharger but you know it'll be a, a dc fast charger uh you know ev go or something like that of course uh, tesla if you want to put a a couple superchargers in here in fuquay i'll be glad to you know uh, uh, publicize and promote it <laughs> so ruby's making this funny suspension noise after we got the tires on and Don and I watched them put the tires on and they didn't do anything but treat the car good and put yeah. the tires on. But Don thinks maybe the suspension being, you know, the car being up on the jack and then re-lowered. Yeah, the fully extending, you know, the uh, unloading the suspension, you know, basically when you jack the tire was completely off. Normally when you drive around your tires don't leave the ground and uh, so I'm thinking that hyperextended the suspension is something that something now is creaking that wasn't creaking before. I, I don't know. We'll find out what's going on. Yeah, I emailed uh, Raleigh Tesla yeah. asking if I can bring the car in for them to check it out. Yeah. I'm a little leery about driving, Ruby. Don says I, not to worry. I, I, it, look, it's not vibrating. It's not shaking. Right, it's, it's driving great. It drives great. It just creaks when you turn it left, really, left. really hard. Really, and it and it takes a, a hard left. That's right. Yeah. So I've dropped Don off, and it's time to go get Johnny. I, I got at least I got to go to the bathroom. Yes. Okay. <laughs> she noticed when she turned in here at the environmental park the noise. Yeah, I would say that was the noise.
that extra trip up to carry today uh, put some extra miles on Ruby I'm not used to coming home in the afternoon and the little battery indicator miles being orange and under you know 60 down so low plenty to get to the house but I'm just not used to seeing Johnny that. spotted that we're in traffic with the bolt DV it's still only 45 out there, but the sun is pretty intense today, and it looks like both Tux and Gray are making good use of it. Johnny took his book bag into the house and then very slowly walked over there, hoping he could sit down on the bench with Gray and give her a rub down. And uh, looks like she stayed and let him do that, so I know he's pretty excited about that. We drove 155.5 miles today. Ruby says we could go um, 42 more miles. We're having a relaxing catch-up evening here. Wednesday is our middle of the week. Don't have to rush off to Taekwondo or robotics or anything else, so I can cook a little bit of a nicer dinner and rest up a bit. I kind of feel like I might be getting a cold, so I'm going to be couching it for most of the night. And uh, I did get meatballs ready to go in the oven for the family and spaghetti squash, a meal we enjoy. So that'll be a good meal, a nice warm meal on this uh, cool day. So uh, the guys up at Tesla, they uh, service, they emailed me back and said um, tomorrow after one. And since that kind of conflicts with robotics, Don's going to take Ruby to get the suspension noise checked out and I'm gonna probably take the van to go to robotics <laughs> I gotta drive the van I appreciate still having the van mind you but into downtown Raleigh wouldn't be my first choice but you know hey I can sling it into any old parking space I want over there at the school no problem so uh, hopefully it won't be a big deal maybe it's something trivial um, you know just something rubbing part of the under part of the wheel or something I don't know we'll see um it drove fine in and out of Raleigh to pick up Johnny the tires are great there's no swerving there's no bumping there's no it's just when I turn left that there's this not good sounding noise so uh, we'll get it checked out appreciate them doing it tomorrow especially with track day on Saturday I've been naughty and I've ordered you something off eBay again mm. We'll see. I didn't think it would be here in time for this weekend. Oh, it's uh, like a windbreaker. Oh, hey, cool. It is a windbreaker, and look at what kind of windbreaker it is. It's a Tesla windbreaker. It has Tesla. Oh, way cool. It has Tesla on it. Wow, how sweet is that? thought it was pretty cool. Wow. Very nice. It's hard to judge off eBay yeah. how uh, lightweight or heavy it would be, but yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely it's it doesn't it's got a uh, it's not lined, but it's like parachute cloth. See, there's the inside. Yeah, yeah a couple different yeah fabrics. Different fabrics, yeah, definitely. And I like it because I like the ones that zip all the way. I don't right, and the pockets and stuff right zip here. too. So if you got stuff you want to not lose, yeah, that makes sense. It well, will. Uh, very much like it. You done good. You done. You don't good. have to wear it this weekend, but if the temperatures are right for it, then you've got that option. Well, see either this or my green shirt. <laughs> the Tesla jacket. Okay, I'll wear the Tesla. There's jacket. the meatballs. They turned out great. Don actually ended up putting the sauce and the cheese on there, and I was joking with him about how nice and geometric and perfectly, you know, it's a work of art. <laughs> and um, I've used a fork to pull the spaghetti squash out and put it in the bowl. And I'm going to put a little olive oil and garlic salt and then put the sauce and the meatballs on top. If you've not ever tried spaghetti squash, you all owe it to yourself to try it at least one time. And don't you be snickering in the it's background good. over there. I actually say it's good. Uh, it's good. You, you won't regret it. Yeah, if you're trying to be low carb, you should give it a try. Yeah, I agree.